right, well, it's uh, beginning of summer. We're back to working on this sputter, but because we had the snowfall that caved everything in. So yesterday we went to Home Depot and we picked up our core plast that we had ordered and we also got 22 by fours. Today we're gonna put the two by fours on the table saw here and rip them and make two by twos so that they'll be lighter, but we're pretty sure they'll still be sturdy enough to hold everything up. Well, to rip the two by fours, all we're doing is setting up our rip fence at one and three quarter inches, which will split the two by four right down the middle. And then we'll have 40 two twos that we can build our structure for our boat out of. Uh, this thing is going to be um, 18 feet long, studded out just like a house, and going to be covered with coroplast, white coroplast, inside and out. And uh, whether or not we insulate it, we don't know yet. But there will be a, an air barrier between the two layers of coroplast that will help. Alright, me and Becky worked uh, all day on the boat project. And this is what we ended up with. Right now this is the front part of the boat. This is going to be the porch. It's about three feet long and eight feet wide. We studded it out with two by twos and of course it's going to be covered with coroplast inside and out. Uh, this is nowhere near how many studs it's going to have in it. Uh, we still have to frame out for all the windows. And the roof is actually going to be formed in an arch out of half inch electrical conduit. It bends really easy and uh, it'll be strong enough and it's, and it's cost effective too. It's like $2.50 for a 10 foot stick and we'll need about 10 sticks. It's pretty cheap for a top. So it's about six feet high and uh, eight feet wide. The whole thing is 18 feet long. And when we get it all studded out, we're just gonna set it up on top of the boat. We've been working on our boat frame for about three or four days now. And we've got all of our roof trusses, I guess is what you call them, bent. Um, and mounted. We did them out of half inch thin wall conduit and we just screwed them to the edges of the frame and then we ran a piece down the center and screwed all of our ribs to the center piece so that they didn't fold over sideways. And we are going to put a few upright braces across the braces that we have in the boat to hold it all perfectly level. Um, we've got the windows framed in. You can see they're going to be pretty big. I think they're like four and a half feet by three feet is what they'll work out to. A little smaller when we finish the frame on them, of course. Uh, we have some Luon uh, around the corners inside and in the middle. That's just so the boat, boat kind of holds its shape. We're going to cover it all with coroplast but the core plast isn't really strong enough to hold the shape of the boat, so we had to add some Luon in to give it strength. And our door, we have had an old um, door off of a travel trailer, and we took the door off because it was pretty heavy, and we're just gonna use the frame and the screen door. And of course, you know, we'll take that brown panel off the bottom there probably and put the core plast on it so that it matches and use the same vinyl. We're going to use some uh, pretty heavy duty vinyl for the windows and that's what they'll be. And we're going to make screens for them too so we can either have the vinyl in for protection from the rain and the cold or we can have the screens in when it's hot so we can get a breeze. We still have to frame a window in in the front and we've got a little bit of framing left to do in the back. And like I said, add these braces. We have several um, two by twos. We ripped two by twos to make all the front, or ripped two by fours, made two by twos. And we've got several two by twos going across the top. And we're gonna run braces up to that center beam in our roof. So that's what we're working on today. We're just gonna finish the framing, framing the window in the front here, cause that's not done. I did add some 45s in to keep it from wiggling side to side and I've got to add a few more in 
the luon on the corners helps but it's not enough in the middle the middle is kind of wiggly so we got to get that firmed up a little bit we've started putting the roofing on our new boat structure and it's going to work out really really nice it'll probably take us about a day to finish the roof on the new structure but we're going to take today and strip this storm wreck off of the old boat and we'll get it down to the point where it's pretty much just the platform maybe leave the console on uh, of course we have to remove all the old rail the roof we have to get our solar panel back off the top the tent structure the plastic that we have covering everything we were protecting it through the winter so we could use it again <laughs> huh, a lot of good that did but anyway, it'll take us all day today to get this stripped down. And when we get it stripped down today and then tomorrow maybe finish our roof, we're going to get a crew over here to help set the new structure up on the boat. And the new structure will cover our gas tank and our battery. I mean, that gas tank is one year old and it is so faded already. So we won't have to worry about that anymore. And we are going to add another one so we have two stacked gas tanks. And with the new structure, we'll have room for two batteries instead of one. It's been about a week now since we set the boat house up on the boat platform here. And we have started the coroplast. We're not done yet. You can see above the windows there are still some pieces that haven't been put in. Uh, still don't have the windows made at all. Haven't put any on the back yet. But we've been working back here. And we've got about the same thing done on the other side. We've also been working inside quite a bit since um, we set it up on the platform. And we'll go in and we'll see what we're doing in there. If you don't know what coroplast is, it's exactly like cardboard, only it's made out of plastic. You can see the corrugations right here. It's just like a piece of cardboard. So it's waterproof. But inside here, we got our table mounted again. And we brought back out a couple of our benches that we used last year. I think we're going to use a couple of those again this year. Just the same seats we had last year. Uh, we had to take the console out because it had to be moved over about half an inch to get the new sides on. So it had to be remounted. And also the controls had to be moved in and remounted. So that stuff has been done. We still have not got our battery hooked back up yet, but I guess that maybe will be tomorrow's project because it's supposed to rain and we won't be doing much outside. We'll get the battery and the solar panel hooked up maybe. We've done some more framing. We framed up this shelf here in the back that's going over the gas tank and the battery. And we framed us in a little head over here. Um, We've got one of those small portable toilets that you have to empty, yay. And we're going to put a shower in here. Um, only this year, I think we're going to hook up a filter to our pump so we don't have to carry so much water because we're going to be traveling in fresh water all the time anyway. Just filter out the dirt. And it'll be fine for bathing and stuff like that. We won't drink it, but it'll. we won't have to carry nearly as much water if we put a filter on so that we can use the water that we're in. And over here on this side, there's going to be a small galley where the stove and we'll keep the cooler and stuff back here. Because we learned last year that you want most of your weight in the back of the boat. Last year we were riding really low in the front, so we're going to keep all the heavy stuff back here this year. And we haven't brought our bed slash sofa out yet, but it will go on this side, centered up between the two windows over here. Let's 
so join us next time and hopefully we'll have everything completed and you can see what it's going to look like when it's all done and then maybe we'll get to take it out on the lake this summer and try everything out so thanks for joining us be sure to click like and subscribe